Hey guys, welcome back to The Takedown with Cliff Schechter. Today we will be talking about that genius, that cloven-footed wonder of the world known as Marjorie Taylor Greene. I, in fact, had made a video about her yesterday and I actually had to trash it because she makes news every 12 hours by doing something even dumber, more obnoxious, more unlawful, more evil. And uh, yesterday was just about something stupid she said on the House floor, which is like a daily event for her. Um, the video I had to make today, this one, is because she assaulted somebody. That is correct. Marjorie Taylor Greene, a congresswoman, I know that's hard to believe, but she is in fact a congresswoman, was walking in the Capitol, um, towards the, towards the Capitol building, I assume, or her office, or I don't know, wherever, whatever stable she sleeps in. <laughs> um, and two members of Voters for Tomorrow, Santiago Meyer, who is the executive director, and Mariana Pecora went up to her, as citizens sometimes do, and reporters do, with their phones on to ask her questions. Now, Voters for Tomorrow is a group dedicated to the, to the rights and um, beliefs of Generation Z, younger folks, people in high school, college, just out of college, I believe. I don't know exactly where the generation begins and ends, but it's young folks and their interest, student debt, these kinds of things that have, have bedeviled their uh, generation. And Marjorie Taylor Greene, of course, is not one who likes to talk to people that ask her adversarial questions. So when they began asking her about the fact that they don't feel safe in their schools, that there have been numerous school shootings, and that why would she not do anything to make them feel safer? She spouted the usual gibberish, blah, 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 2A, and you, know, you, you just need to get something to protect yourself, because, you know, your average 13-year-old or 15-year-old should really think about shopping for a Glock or an AR-15 or something to bring to school with them in case somebody shows up with a weapon uh, because they didn't have to go through a background check because of people like Marjorie Taylor Greene and decides that they want to do something evil and awful in the school. Right. They kept trying to get an answer out of her, and the closest she came was telling Santiago, who's originally from Mexico, to go back to Mexico, or at least to go to a country, go to some other country if you don't like it here, which clearly she was saying because of well, the way he looks and his accent, um, and she's a racist. Um, with Mariana, though, she decided to take a little bit of a different tack. She said obnoxious things back to her like she did to Santiago. And then you can see this where at some point Mar Mariana walks in front of her and she kicked her. That is correct. A member of Congress, albeit one that thinks Jewish lasers are something we need to dodge on a daily basis and Satan's whispering into the Pope's ear and 9-11 was an inside job and I, I can't go on all the crazy things she said. Um, she actually kicked Mariana in the back of the leg and then to make sure of course, that Mariana would know that she meant it. She kicked her in the back of the leg again. She assaulted her. Um, this is assault. You are not allowed to do this in our study. She kicked her hard. And then her little goon stepped in and said, you can't get in a congresswoman's way. Mariana was walking in front of her. She wasn't in her way. She wasn't stopping her or blocking her. She was kicked in the back of the leg twice um, by an insane person, by somebody that one time after Parkland harassed David Hogg before he went before her, Marjorie Taylor Greene was in Congress harassed David Hogg falling down the street and screaming at him and you know about Parkland and maybe crisis actors and who knows what else um that's who she is she's a thug she's a troll she's a performative idiot she's certainly not worthy of any office uh anywhere certainly not worthy of being in Congress but she committed assault I hope Mariana went to the police I hope that she sues her uh, I hope that she's held responsible both legally on uh, in criminal law, and I hope she's held responsible civilly for emotional distress or any pain or if there's any bruise. But again, this is what we're dealing with now, right? We've got people like DeSantis putting migrants on planes, lying to them, trafficking them across state lines, sending them up to Martha's Vineyard when they tell them they're going to Boston and give them jobs because they look different and because they think it'll be a good stunt. And you've got Marjorie Taylor Greene, and you know how we know that we thought that we, you know how we know she thinks it's a positive? She posted the video. That's right. She put up a video of herself assaulting somebody on Twitter and on other social media platforms. So we actually have the proof that she committed assault. And she does it with impunity because in much the same way Donald Trump has not yet paid a price for his crimes, in much the same way that Ron DeSantis, I hate to say it, but I don't expect that he's going to ever actually pay for what. If I grabbed a group of folks and said to them, there's a job for you in Boston, paid for them to go on a plane, sent them up someplace. They didn't know the language. They didn't know where they were going, lied to them about it, lied to them about there being a job. I would be accused of kidnapping and trafficking. Um, Ron DeSantis 
We'll see. And the same with Marjorie Taylor Greene. So God, I hope that they press charges and I hope that she's held civilly and criminally responsible. She's a blight on Congress, a blight on America. I could not go into what trash she is and how disgusting it is that somebody is despicably stupid, as despicably ignorant, as despicably evil and cruel could even occupy our Congress. But that's where we are today. That's why the Republican Party absolutely must be beaten in 2022 because Marjorie Taylor Greene will be in the majority. Think about that for a second. Marjorie Taylor Greene in the majority, helping, well, she wouldn't help craft policy, helping craft crafts, helping do all sorts of stupid things, um, uh, voting on bills, investigations into Merrick Garland and trying to impeach Joe Biden and, you know, the rest. So it's that much more important we win the House. I'd love it if we could knock her out of the seat, even though it's a very pro-Trump seat. Um, but understand that this is the face of the Republican Party today. It is Marjorie Taylor Greene. Don't get lost in this. It's just Donald Trump garbage. Marjorie Taylor Greene is the Republican Party. Evil, corrupt, stupid, afraid of their own shadow and willing to sort of take, uh, take out their fears and their self-wielding on the rest of us. Guys, I just want to say thanks for being here. Um, I had to do this last second at home because uh, of a snafu, but we'll, we'll be there with the new mic in the office uh, this weekend, Monday. And uh, subscribe and make sure to um, turn on your notifications and share. Share social media, email, any other way you can with people and encourage them to subscribe because we're growing quickly, but the more the merrier. Thanks.